Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, it has been since the month of March that Saturn has stepped into your sign. Now, this is just a little taste through the spring. It is going to be at the very end of June, beginning of July, that Saturn will retrograde out of your sign. But that retrograde, that actually starts this month because it will be by the time we get to the middle of the month that fully four planets will be retrograde, including Saturn slowing down to a standstill and turning backwards. And what this means for the collective is that there is going to be this overriding reflective quality moving forward from here as we navigate later and later into the month. But for you, it is Saturn, your ancient ruling planet in your sign that is especially interesting to me. Make sure you are paying attention to what is happening in your life in some way. You are being encouraged to own your happiness, to own your peace, to know that you alone are responsible for that and to understand the value of owning your own sense of progress and maturity and all those adulting things that normally sometimes, especially an Aquarian like you might resist. And yet it is freedom that comes through responsibility, not from responsibility. That is the most rewarding to you now. That lesson is going to be that much more strongly highlighted as we navigate towards the middle of the month. Now, just before we get there though, we are going to have a full moon and this full moon is gonna take place at the very top of your sky right around the seventh of the month. Now, what I love about this full moon is the beautiful way that it is speaking with Neptune and Neptune is slowly continuing to move through a part of the sky for you that has to do with finances, money you earn and money that you spend. This full moon happening at the very top of your sky speaks to success and career and life purpose and where it is that you've been hoping for some sense of progress or advancement on the career front that had the financial part intact to support the gains that you were making. Well, this full moon can be incredibly helpful in that regard. Mercury is standing across the sky from this full moon, which does suggest a measure of compromise or feeling like you're going back and forth, but also that things could move very quickly. Now, I do know as we start the month that there are a lot of people right now who are in some form of social distancing, social isolation, maybe feeling insecure in some way about their success, about the progress that we're making. And so in this regard, and for you, it can be this full moon that allows you to make some progress that feels like it's time. Whether that is a new opportunity you're hoping to secure, you've got that blessing here, or whether it is just advancement, promotion, that can be possible at this time as well. Now it is as we navigate later into the month, right around the 22nd that we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with creativity. It has to do with children that you want or children that you have. It has to do with honoring your passions and your heart and doing what it is that you feel called to, but it's also connected to fun as well. Now here's the thing that new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and Saturn will be in your sign. And what that tells me is that yes, this can be fun. And yet there's a part of you that understands uh, the value of delayed gratification. This can be an incredibly rewarding new moon, one that speaks to your sense of fulfillment, especially creative fulfillment. And yet there is still an eye towards the bigger picture ensuring that you're able to tap into the gains you make now so that they help you in that longer range, bigger goals that you have for your life. And all of this tells me that what is happening around this new moon isn't just about joy for the fun of it, but that you're finding ways to make practical gains at this time. Where it is that you have a self-employment endeavor that is rooted in what you are passionate about, whether it's something brand new or whether it is something that's ongoing, this can feel like a brand new start that puts you in a more solid place. 
And if it is children that you want or children that you have, well, you could get good news on that front, encouraging news, but also personal clarity at this time. But this is also the same part of the sky that Venus will be retrograde in by this point. Venus goes retro in the middle of the month and throughout this month we'll be speaking in a conversation of tension with Neptune, magnifying the more confusing element of this time. All of this, the new moon and Venus, well, all of this is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with matters of heart, right? And that includes in love. Now you add to this the fact that in the first part of the month, Mars is still gonna be in your sign before moving on. And what that suggests is passions are high for you. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well, you do seem particularly gutsy to do so, brave to do so in the first part of the month. But at the same time, just remember, there is this overriding uncertainty, but this glimpse of reality happening towards the later part of the month, thanks to that new moon. Now, there are a few signs out there that do need to be careful about things like catfishing under this energy, and that does include you. You are one of the signs that is going to need to be especially mindful of that. But for all that, we've also got this very encouraging energy that says there could be that little bit of a window with that new moon that helps you to feel like you're connecting with people in a meaningful, honest, and real way. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that you do have to be mindful of this Venus retrograde season, and yet that new moon is so promising. It does suggest that you're seeing this person more clearly, more accurately. You're understanding the practicalities of getting to know them and whether or not they're worth getting to know better. And if it is that you do see that potential here for practical progress, well, it is gonna be that new moon that helps you find not only that clarity, but a pathway forward. And if it is that that isn't here, that really is okay because it can be that new moon that brings someone new. For those of you who are in an established bond, I do think that this is a time of a larger perspective, whether it is in heart, but more than that, about commitment. With Saturn in your sign, you are getting honest on so many fronts about what you want, about what it is that helps you to feel stability. And where you have that with your partner, it can be a month like this that helps the love grow that much more strong, that much more secure. And even with the energy that is uncertain, thanks to Saturn, it can also be a time that feels like it solidifies the bond that much more. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I do love that full moon in the early part of the month. That is an energy of success. And it does look like, yes, there's some negotiating and thinking quickly on your feet. And yet it can be a time when you feel especially prosperous and prosperity, not just in a practical sense in terms of the financial part of it, but also in terms of the abundance of opportunity available to you. It is that full moon that says aim high, go for what it is that you want, what feels like it's gonna align you with a bigger, more inspiring picture for your life, feels like it is going to align you with a legacy that you are moving towards because it is the really big aims now that have the greatest potential for the biggest breakthroughs and blessings. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.